Hi everyone, my name is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. Today, in video 12, in Options for Remote STEM Research, we're going to talk about how literature synthesis can fit in your research. We keep using the word synthesis in talking about your literature review. My colleague, Joey Albin, a social sciences librarian, shared a great video with me about this. I'll let Joey introduce the video. Thanks, Claire. I'm a social sciences and education librarian who works with all three of our education departments, as well as the sociology, social work, and human relation departments. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I found many patrons can find the resources they need, but have trouble combining them all into a cohesive whole. The video linked on this slide is a great summary of the synthesis process. Thanks, Joey. That's a really helpful summary. Like the video says, a synthesis is different from listing all the facts. You are taking known information from other papers and drawing new conclusions or predictions from it. This is important because your synthesis is a creation of a new piece of information then. You are taking known facts from already conducted studies and determining something new. This is most commonly a prediction for yourself or others to test later, but you can also look at larger patterns that individual authors before you haven't noticed. This is different from a meta-analysis, which if you remember from our May 29th webinar, statistically analyzes results from other papers. The synthesis observes patterns, but not quantitatively. It's a qualitative look at it. Another type of literature review that we won't go into any detail on is the systematic review, which aims to find all papers from particular defined search terms. You may be asking yourself, can this be a paper by itself or a chapter by itself, or is this just a strategy for my introductions? This is a time to your talk to your advisor and your committee if you're a student or any collaborators you have on the project. The main aspects to consider are whether the synthesis adds new perspectives to the field or only provides background and the reasoning behind your hypothesis. You should also check journals in your field to see what they consider it appropriate review papers as this can vary from field to field. We'll have a live Q&A for writing a literature synthesis on June 23rd from 3 to 3.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time on Zoom. Science librarian Amanda Schilling and I will be joined by expository writing instructor Robert Scaife. Registration is required to get the Zoom link. You can register at libraries.ou.edu slash events and look for the June 23rd event. Finally, more videos in this series, as well as announcements about our live events and other workshops are available on Twitter, as well as on the Davis Listserv, which you can subscribe to at libraries.ou.edu slash Davis. You can view past videos in this series at bit.ly slash OUSTEMYT. Please contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for joining us and stay safe out there.